Hey you guys, David Serpa at EXP Realty here if you are following on YouTube. And I just wanted to take a moment to apologize. It's been a couple of days since I've loaded a video. Um, I have been working a lot lately. Uh, Kate and I have both been working. And so uh, until I grow my organization enough at EXP or I hit the New York Times bestsellers list, I will continue to sell real estate. So uh, that's something that I've been doing. Had a great listening appointment today, but I wanted to talk about something here for a moment. Um, New York Times bestseller, uh, Steve Silberman, who is a big inspiration for me. I loved his book, Neuro Tribes. I have underlined it and read through it. You can tell this is a withered copy. Um, absolutely fantastic book on the legacy of autism and the future of neurodiversity. He tweeted about uh, unmasking Asperger syndrome, all the world's a stage, uh, yesterday on Twitter. And so it was enough to get me back on Twitter to say, thank you, Steve Silverman. I appreciate the support, my friend. Um, okay. Let's get to our book here. Uh, chapter seven. If you would like to follow me at David Serpa at EXP Realty on YouTube, you can watch this entire series from the beginning and all of my research on my playlist about this book where I read every chapter and include all the research that I've been uh, doing as well. Chapter seven, alone time, recharging the autistic brain. Don't feel guilty for finding quiet time away from the world. Some people cannot fathom the thought of being alone. Alone time is necessary for an Aspie. We need time to step back from the world and take a mental break. Think of your alone time like putting gasoline in a vehicle or charging your phone. You can keep going without recharging, but eventually you will break down. Whether I was in school, on the job, or at home, I need time to recharge. Whether I was taking 15 minutes and reading with my headphones on in my car at work, going for a walk by myself, or getting kicked out of my biology class on purpose every day so I could go sit in the library. Life can be exhausting when you don't pick up on social cues, or if you're the last to arrive on the mental scene. Simple things like having a sarcastic teacher might be a joy for everyone else in class, but for someone with Asperger's, having a sarcastic teacher can give you high anxiety and make you exhausted. Part of our intellectualizing over everyday scenes is watching faces and responses of those around us to figure out how we feel about something that we don't understand. I had the worst biology teacher on planet Earth for a person with Asperger's. She was cruel, short, and mocked me publicly when I needed help. This class was so stressful for me that I stopped going. It is hard enough to be made fun of or mocked. It is debilitating when you're the last person to realize you're being mocked because it is a teacher that is mocking you. I also had my fair share of idiot teachers that have chosen to ostracize me or choose me as the example for what not to do because I ask too many questions. Life can be exhausting just keeping up, and sooner or later, many Aspies decide that they're done trying to keep up. At every school I've ever been to, I've never needed to walk along with every other person from classroom to classroom. I've never walked in those large, slow-moving groups where people awkwardly move together. I'm not a cow. I don't always need to be chewing my cud with all the other idiots, so I would take my time between classes to walk by myself. During a break or at a conference, everyone stands around with one another. And most times, I'm walking out of the room to find a place for 10 to 15 minutes where I can relax before coming back in. I'm charging. When all the world's a stage, it can be exhausting under all the bright lights, constantly working to remember your lines, to stay in character, and being aware that you almost always have an audience. Whether you're being watched by a teacher, a coworker, a coach, a friend, or your own kids, I need to remember that in order to be good on stage, I need to prepare off stage. That is needed. No one ever walked on stage without having a general idea of what they are going to do. Even improvisational actors have a general idea of the parameters of the scene and expectations that are set forth for them. A friend of mine, an entrepreneur, Chris McCullough, once said, it's not easy taking it easy. What are the expectations of free time? How am I supposed to recharge? My resting looks a lot like working to other people. I will never be a person that sits down and watches movies or binge watches programming. I do occasionally, but it feels like a giant waste of time for me. So how do I rest? I listen to music. I allow myself to pace in my yard or my house or walk in the world with headphones. I dance by myself. 
I read, I write music, or I will just allow myself to play whatever I want to play on my guitar. I write books or songs in my journal. The important thing about all of this is that it helps me unwind. It is alone and that I'm able to do all of these things in a relaxed state so that at the end of it, I'm able to return to the world charged. So when I'm reading a book, studying a topic that I enjoy or reading fiction, I am relaxed. I am also, uh, I also rest with my family or my wife and with a few friends, but I need alone time to recharge properly. This is one of the reasons I get up so early. I'm able to charge myself fully before anyone else around me wakes up for the day. Thank you guys for watching today. I appreciate you tuning in, Damien Simon, uh, and anyone else that watched as well. You guys can uh, purchase my book. We went from uh, being outside of the top 1,000 at the uh, end of the day uh, yesterday to waking up today and realizing we were ranked uh, number 125 um, on a certain section there on Amazon. So that was very exciting for me to wake up and realize that. I saw that uh, how many books we've sold. We've sold uh, 13 books in the last few days, which is really fun uh, to be able to track that through Amazon and their self-publishing services. Um, and I just want to say thank you because I'm tracking these book sales and it's not just, uh, it's not like it's my mom and my mom's buying a bunch of copies. I'm getting some love from a little bit of everywhere. And I just wanna say that I appreciate it. So the Audible is $4.99. We kept that uh, nice and affordable for you guys. And uh, and again, uh, the it is also available in print for $16.99. I gotta go get ready because I gotta go pick up my kids for, from school here at 2.30. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'll try to get another video loaded tomorrow. I just apologize, it's been a lot of work lately. So uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe on YouTube. David Serpa at EXP Realty. David Serpa at EXP.